This is a tutorial on how to create recordings for those who have missed sessions in Freedom Tribe or VIP Business Mentorship Group. You're going to come here to freeconferencecallhd.com and it's, you're going to have to click on the button called Login to get to the login page. It doesn't normally come up to this page. You have to click Login. And then here, the email is hallfan at gmail.com, H-A-L-L-F-A-N-N. -N. And the password is fastly22, F-A-S-T-L-Y-2-2. You can click for it to remember you on this computer, and then log in. Once you're in, you're going to click on History and Recordings. And then you'll need to come here and choose a start date for them to start showing the recordings and an end date, then click search. It will bring up a list of recordings. When you want to share one, you simply come over to this shared area right here with these little locks. Some that are already unlocked means they've already been shared. So if you click on that, there's already a link there that you can copy and share. You may need to change the expiration date right here to a different day if you're making this recording for someone else new. Always set the display caller information to no and allow download to no. This is very important. Both of these need to be no. For the description you can write the class and then the date. So the class for family entanglement work is FEW you can see the date is December 12th, 2012. And once you fill this in, you come down and uh, click Update URL, and then you can copy the new link and paste it into an email to whoever you're sending it to. Let's try doing this for one that has never been shared before. Here's a recording that has not been shared. So I'm going to set the expiration date and I usually set it about three weeks in advance. Display color information no, allow download no, description this was also family entanglement work on December 19th 2012. Then you click, let's move this up, you click generate URL, it will generate it for you, you click copy and it will be copied to your computer clipboard then you click OK and then you can come into your email and create a new email for somebody and paste it in there for them and of course you're going to send it to whoever the subject can be recording of missed class and you can put the date of the class or the title of the class that's family entanglement work December 19th 2012 and in here is the link. Of course, I recommend that you write a note first, like, Hi, here's the recording of the class you missed. That's the recording. Enjoy. And then sign out with your name. And then you can send it. And that's how you send out recordings for when people miss classes. All you need to know is know what date they missed. And then you can look it up by date. Of course. You can look it up by date and find the date. Now if there's two recordings on that date, as you can see here on 12.6, there's two recordings. Clearly you can see that one is short, 17 seconds, and there's only one caller on the line. It's not that one. Most of the classes are going to be around two hours and they're going to have multiple callers on the line. That'll be the one that you want. Now, if there's a couple of recordings on a particular date and you're not sure which one it is, you can always click on the playback, which looks like a tape right here, and then you'll be able to listen to the beginning and I will announce at the beginning what it is. This is the IP Business Mentorship Group. So as you heard, I said this is whatever the date was, 2012, this is VIP Business Mentorship Group. Now if that's what you were looking for, then now you know that you have the right recording. If it doesn't sound like what you are expecting, then it might not be the right recording and you should go back and check it out. Check out a different recording to see if you can find the right one.
and that's all you need to know. Thanks very much.